five. It is in the bottom left, Max Pax, Danish Protoss player, flying away from LAN events, fortunately, and in the bottom top top right. Oh my god, I'm switching a bottom top so many times. It is dark. Who has just become a father a couple of days ago. Go ahead and see where this drone is gonna go. It's gonna be an Arky one. This map is one you've been seeing tons and tons and tons of times already. Looks like Dark wants to go for the gold base. Pax, go for the deny on the natural, but well, there's not gonna be one. There we go. Low ground expand here for Max Pax. Yeah, let's see what Dark's plan is with this gold base. I think this might just be a roach push. Or like a ravager falling. Having the gold just basically boost the timing. And I wonder if we're gonna see drone transfer. If it should be soon, but Maxpex hasn't scouted this, so Dark's maybe like hmm, B and transfer any drones. Now he's gonna go ahead actually pulling three and I don't think that Maxpex really did see those. If he counts this Hey wait. Why do I have none? Okay, where's the rest of his ones? Okay, he, he pulled like they they were kind of hidden. That was a kinda of, kind of a cool thing that happened there. Very subtle thing. Only three drones go though. So he's gonna keep a full saturation of the base here. And gas for now. A little bit curious, okay. Letting one on gas. Links. Next big side is probably the Stargate, no surprise. Already ready to the quarter. Of course, he knows about this. It just scouted. See what Ling idea is here. Four links running around. Of this debris, yeah, in the 400. Close. Yep, path is open. He has links everywhere, kind of. Very interesting. Hey, he made so many things. He has like 20 links, something, right? So safe. He's safe in every place. Such an interesting approach. And he even has this small counter attack. He could commit to the pylon, he's gonna go for some. Probes, and I think that's the right choice. He did just finish. Two fall immediately. He's gonna first get scout of the oh so surprising tech. Maybe he can even break through. Yeah, he could come with these from behind, but then he would also pull down these two depths. No, it's just what? Wait, what? Let's just check. What did happen? I don't have the thing. Damn, this is the wrong interface. What? I <laughs> like okay, it's defended and then go. Maybe Dark has an appointment. That was definitely not the game we were looking to cast, unfortunately. <laughs> Boy. One W. Dynasty. Go. Let's see if Dark is actually gonna play a game. This. Just gonna try to do some more all-ins and uh, wins. It wins. Yeah. It's actually a daughter, as far as I know. Specified on in Korean on his. 
He might be the first Korean StarCraft 2 pro gamer Rin. In like, in, in some root water. The first one to make it into GSL finals, maybe 2048 or so. Like 24. <laughs> Against Maru's son or something. <laughs> Starcraft Legacy Wars. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see another edge first on gold here. But yeah, let's see if Dark is actually taking this serious now, if this is another like, weird thing where he gives up. One thing is not, a tiny thing is not going as it should. I mean, he was a 19 draw, but he was still fine, right? He had a gold, he had three bases. And he still had a lot of links. He could, he could have still tried to uh, throw down a Baneling Nest and bust the entrance. I mean, it's a high health. Buildings there, so probably I'm gonna take the paint. I don't know, man. There was still room to, in my opinion, you could still like go all drone to the gold and get drones back up running. It's not like Max Packs was too too far ahead. What did he have? Thirty maybe? It's nineteen. But you have a gold base, like so pure mineral income, it should be out even, you're behind, I did, but it's not like you're dead. I mean he had the three hatch production, so he could have transitioned into more. Sometimes he throws a towel really. Of course, yeah, I think you're right there, he probably expected to get more done with the links. Was then gave up. Like if he could have done, but then, like, if he was really that, or wanted to be that all in, I think you need to hard commit on that pylon when you have the chance in the very, like, beginning, right, where he went in there, because then there's no uh, field battery gun. Or you need to have those links that were waiting in the main base, you have to get those faster out, I don't know, man. That was a little bit strange though. Felt like there was still so much room. Of course Dark is behind in this. Nine. Yeah, as you can see it's another it seems like it's another all-in. This time it's gonna be a roach all-in. Here again on 20 some odd drones. And they're gonna be unpicked off here from the gold behind. So this is already going really good in Maxpick's favor. This time is going to be a Ravager bust, most likely. And uh, we're going to see, there is one Overlord, of course. Now, we're going to see if he's going to be able to area. I think Max Pax is a little bit high on scouting, so he does not know about the Roach run. Finally, he's going to see those, but he has a Stargate. So he can just make, going to cancel a building here, make Twilight and make a Void Ray. He's going to bolster the wall, and he knows. Well, if he just makes buildings now, he should not lose. Yes, they're already, they're already picking at these. There is no Ravages, I think, yet. And so we're just gonna use those low Roaches, I guess, to more than Ravages. You can maybe bust this and then it's open, actually. Yeah, this is a little bit of a mistake by Max Pack not having any follow-up buildings here. He needed to pile on or something to produce there and uh, keep off the units outside of his base because now we're fighting probes. Not what you want to see. This void ray needs to be retargeted. Man, the Ravager eggs are like insane because they lose the, the armored value, I think. They're only biological, so the bonus damage doesn't apply anymore. Oh, he's even gonna get, get a bile on that one. But he only kills three drones, probes, whatever you want to call it. I think this is already held. We're still, as you like to point out, workers, we're still on 23 against 30. This is good, though. Finally, 10. 
workers go down, if you can get like maybe 16, 14, yeah, 16 ish would be great. 14 is good enough, I think, to play. 17 workers. It's good follow up damage, but you need to do something now. You're gonna make a drone. One. You finally take the DT. 22 to 23. <laughs> But yeah, this was enough damage, definitely. It's pushing out the Oracle. We have that base on the way. Just started, though. And two Oracles are there, so they can deny this. They're fast enough with the Oracle. But it seems like they're just gonna go aim for this old base here. I like the spot. It's a good, good idea. Against those void rays, three queens, and a spore, they should keep you safe here. You can try to save the overlord. Not gonna happen. Now, like, if you have so one roach, right? Put it behind here, or one ravager. Staying alive there. Yeah, <laughs> it looks the same to me, man. It looks like he's like short in time. I mean, if you're a father of a four year old, four day old baby, like literally, I'm surprised he actually signed up. I'm so surprised because, like, the first few months are insanely time consuming. <laughs> Maybe he's like, you know, all inning everything, single game, so he can help out with his with his baby a little bit. Not, I don't know. All right, Oracle swooping in here again. Good for some drones. Gonna find one geyser, and then it's gonna get pushed out. Likely, oh, I'm gonna commit to some. More damage here, but also gonna take some from before. And we're gonna get some charge lot aggression follow up. And, uh, yeah, Max Pax is still looking okay. He's he was working with the gold, of course, as well. Oh, this is good. This is good harassment. That queen's out of position here. He needs the queen's kind of in front. We have enough queens though. Seven should be. But does he even know about this now? Of course. Again, lawn. What is he producing? Three roaches? They're not here though, so maybe this, this charge attack is just gonna kill him. Straight up, this could be a possibility. There's a good position for the queens, and we have this spore covering. And the charge is not done. That's a big thing. Still twenty sec 10 seconds out. And maybe... Oh! Oh, even the queen gets... gets stuck. But yeah. I think this is just enough to hold. This is literally just enough. Charge is done now, but now we have roaches, now we have queens. Now he should not die. And I get a, an overlord, he's gonna lose the oracle though. And those queens on the ramp, nah, they're gonna get broken. But we're out of transfuses now, there is some more charge that's coming in. Maybe, maybe he can do something here. We don't have any transfuses, he kind of bluish, probably. But the roaches should be enough. And well, we, we lost four drones, but... I mean, this is a good lead now, I think, for Max Max. We had, like, a slight lead where he had the tech lead, and Dark was still trying to keep, catch up in economy. Was just barely keeping on there. Oh, hang on. And uh, now... He, he never really had an army lead, right? After he lost so many links. Yeah. And now it looks like... Well, he's gonna stabilize here, but this is a good lead for Max Max. He has his third up and running, he has more drones. That's an upgrade lead, plus one is already done. Plus one is halfway done here. We're gonna see some Hydras though. Hydra Roach, I like it. Very cost efficient composition for the Zerg. It's like cheap to produce and it's very beefy. It, it allows you to battle a lot. Or like have prolonged fights as well. It doesn't really die that quick. It's good against charge lots, of course. Roaches in the front, taking damage. Hydra's just sniping those down. Good composition. 
but he needs something more. He needs uh, he needs to stabilize a little bit stronger on, on more bases. He probably needs at least, like, not this one, but another one beyond this extra base. And he needs more drones. He's really lacking on the drone department. Maybe he's just gonna go now. Plus one finished. Hydro speed on the way once that's done. Just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. And 46 drones. But like a dark, even dark on 46 drones it doesn't feel that scary. Plus one is down though. There's a lot of charge of Archons. Not really the best counter. He's actually gonna get a cancel here. That's good. Good for Dark. Gonna find some probes here. Yeah? That's very good damage. And now he can come in actually at the gold and snipe this one as well, maybe. Because Max Pack's army is completely out of position. He he was like not even thinking about this it's open now. You could just this is such an easy rotation and Dark is inside the base now. And kill more drones here. And trade these three, maybe even get the Nexus. Nah, he's not gonna commit to the Nexus. He can do a run through base. On the other side we have a warp prism which is just gonna get sniped down. This is looking amazing here for Dark. Max Pax was completely out of position, completely discarding this idea, and now he can kill the tech! He can kill the Well he's not gonna get blinked. Uh, unfortunately, but he can kill the Templar Archives, he can kill the Twilight even. Or he can just decide to fight the army. Kill it. Come on. Kill it. Oh my god. It is bad. Just gonna kill for some battle for some pylons, but yeah, he's making so much headway here. Drawing so many drones. Eat economies and shambles here. Max um, yeah, for Max Pack. Dark's looking great. If he can do like one big round. So he's making drones right now, which I think is uh, probably not what you want to do here. So you're, you're only fighting army right now. You make like a couple drones maybe. Mostly get hydras, approaches, stabilize at home, get a look at in. You already have the, the layer, get a locker then. Like three lockers or something. Get a position that's not breakable. And then you are you are on the game. Now see these drones, they were just freshly made. They're not gonna find that much. Uh, actually he's not gonna not gonna settle for that base. Yeah, we need more army here. Need more army at home. This three immortals. Like, even links would be great. But yeah, just Hydras is also fine. Fighting with the drones is good enough. Should be able to just hold this attack here, as you can see. And he's still dealing damage across the map here with roaches here and there everywhere. GG, well played, Duck. Gonna win this one after, well, kind of a successful all in early game and falling apart almost. With a follow up from Max Pax. <laughs> a good lead from Max Pax, and then Duck just brushes him. Well, Max Pax was out of position, discarding the, the entrance in his back. Oh, I love it. I'm, I'm looking like two, two minutes into the past right now. The last me message with Dark so far, far behind in Echo Max Pax really put early aggression. <laughs> and I agree. And then Dark just. Like Max Pax made one big mistake and Dark completely dismantling him there. That was a perfect counter. You wouldn't believe how many diapers. Two bone, baby. My first son thought he was eating those things, man. They were vanishing. <laughs> Next map is gonna be Side Delta, so there's no gold base, I think. Correct, right? Yeah, there's no gold base on the map. So no gold aggression, no gold boot, yeah. That gonna do.
there we go. Five. We're looking at a one-one situation between man in the top left, Max Pax, the third player in the bottom right, the dark. Okay, so we're gonna see an over pool. Uh, sorry, an over. Like the, the quick hatchery, it's gonna be the fifteen hatch. I'm gonna go down now with this drone. Gonna make the hatchery, then he's gonna make another extractor trick and get the overlord later. Oh, thank you, thank you for the praise. <laughs> I'm trying hard to currently get a little bit better at casting games. Sometimes I'm stumbling over my words, sometimes I'm misreading the situation, but sometimes I get a good read. Looks good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, so we're gonna see the pool next. Look. It's a little bit earlier, I think, than you think. Let's see, so sometimes he likes to play this without gas, but this one is ready to the gas. So. Yeah, Dark is a, is a little bit of a, of a mystery box in his build orders, early games. He has so many, you never really know what's gonna come. So, I don't know. I think though, still, this is probably another aggressive build. But yeah, let's see and wait what he actually wants. He's actually long distance mining extra minerals right while he has not enough drones to saturate the gas and the touches fully. Very interesting. They wanted to have extra, um, like a tiny bit of extra income from the closer minerals, maybe? Because that one drone, or these two drones, onto these two. Gonna have like maximum income, right? Out of touches he has. Okay. 60 gas gonna be Banes. No wait, shouldn't be. And you need speed, right? Gonna be a Bane now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let's have a look at Max Pax. All you Protoss fans, gonna be a Stargate. Hey, who would've thunk? The Nexus and everything, and uh, it's it's just a standard Protoss. There we go, very quick third hatchery. So he decided to slow down his gas mining into one drone to boost his mineral income and go for a faster third base with this. Oh, very curious. And let's see if he actually commits to ga uh, to speed or if he's gonna go with a quick lair. The last option would be like a, a delayed roach warren. 30 drones or something. Should become like it should should be placed soonish. It is. It was a little bit long. Okay, there we go. Five more drones. What is he gonna make? Just spores for now. This is so interesting. Dark feels so random. But I'm not sure if it's actually if it's actually random. Or if this is all planned stuff. Because it works so well. <laughs> Thank you. But sometimes I'm missing a couple things here and there which I wouldn't if I would be only observing. So I definitely know the value if, if you have a committed observer. It's like 100% focus or like 90 or 80% focus on observing. There's definitely a huge difference, I think. And as well, the same goes for casting. Like if I could focus 100% on casting, I think I would probably be do a little bit better job. Thank you so much. For your feedback, very much appreciated. I'm glad you're enjoying. All right. So we're gonna see the very standard this time. It's gonna be Twilight and Forge at the same time. We saw um, Australia earlier against Dark to delay the Forge quite a bit and get his gates first. So he would have four gates. This is gonna be a little bit different though. We're gonna go up to six gates here very fast. And it's gonna be, yeah, the forged 
Twilight. So this should be just have like the six gates just in case. You're gonna get at least one swell of army units, and then you're gonna get your upgrades first, and then you're gonna go with the production behind that. Australia was doing a lot of blink um, four gate aggression. It's gonna be six gates. Most likely he's gonna use some stasis wards if he doesn't lose the oracles with this aggression. Let's see what Dark is doing. Okay, so this is gonna be... I don't think he ever made Link Speed. Okay, my bad. Completely missing. He has Link Speed. <laughs> He's gonna go into Roach and plus one range. And he has a very solid three base setup, it seems. Very compact. compact. No real open spots. Like, this is a bit exposed, maybe, against Oracles. They come in now, but they are almost out of energy if they even have enough 50 and 20 uh, 25 so you turn on one but the other one has like half a shot or something in it. just gonna go for a scout gonna find there is done Would be no surprise it's minutes things going into the scout here gonna see hey six warp ins so he confirms well it's at least six gates you have Oh, there we go, that's the plan. So second Forge, Double Robo and Robotics Bay. Uh, what this can be... So there is like a... Um, um, I, think, I think it's 10 gates? Maybe it's 8 gates, I'm not sure. There's like a, a game plan where you go... Double Robotics and you go 4 Colossi and then you push 4 Colossi and Blink Stalkers. I'm not sure if... We do it with Fortress though. I'm pretty sure you do it on four bases and with uh, plus one at least, maybe plus two. But we do it with one plus one. So that's a little bit different, which makes me think this is not the four colossus. Kind of all in. Well, this is a nice move by Dark though. Completely pulling back the army with a counter pressure, only losing like two roaches there on that huge, like, he gets all of the stalkers back at home. Killed some stalkers himself, he's gonna deny a little bit of probes here. He only lost like five drones, and he didn't have to fight at home. Because he pulled back the whole stalker arm, he buys so much time for himself. Get plus two range, get some more drones as well. And this is gonna be Disruptors, as I said, it's not gonna be the Colossus play. But then, I mean against Rogers of course, Disruptors are amazing. You go double up Forge, Disruptor. It's gonna be a Hydra transition. <laughs> like an Evolution Chamber, Infestation Pit. So he can go range and damage at the same time. We need to get Infestation Pit and the Hive to start our plus three, though as dark. And this was a really good move, though so the base was kept. And it has to be replayed. So this is a lot of time. And the base is finished. It's working. It's up and running. It is defended. Could not lose this. He may, may even cut, catch this army. But this stasis ward. Oh my god. It's huge. It's grabbing two groups on two sides. Oh my god. This is where the army was. This is where the stasis ward was. Oh boy. That was probably the best stasis ward in a very, very long time. And yeah, well, this one though is a little bit tricky now. Dark's units are about to be unfrozen. Doctors are just a tiny bit late to the party. If he could have gotten those, I'm perfectly with the stasis. Oh boy. Might have been the game. As is. Just amazing to buy him the time to get his uh, units away. Save his army. Whoa. Whoa. And. Oh, the magical pen. Now we have Hydras. They don't have... Do they have range? So they have range, they don't have speed yet. Uh, they're gonna... About to hit plus two attack. We're actually going into armor upgrades. So... Dark is probably gonna commit a lot more to... Hydra Roach. Okay. As I said, he's making a lot of links though. But yeah, as you can see, Hydras are, are decent in sniping those. Those have been connecting beautifully, but still. 
Still not enough. Max packs, I mean, this base is up now, but it's so late. It's been a while. And Dark has his fifth. Dark is kind of, he's growing in a, in a very good pace. We're going into Lurker upgrades now as well. Plus three attack is coming in. Mix spines, range upgrade for our Lurkers. And on the other side, the Colossus transition starting now. But like against Lurkers, I'd probably rather have more Disruptors than Colossi. Against the Hydra and Ling, yeah, of course, Colossus is pretty good. Anything else? Like the Lurker tradition, this is already where you kind of needed the units you already lost here as Max. Like, so it's gonna be a tough uh, couple minutes here for him. As he needs to basically, like, you, you need like four robots or something at this point, <laughs> so you can produce all of these units you need against the. Uh, Colossus are so bad against Lurk. Not even sure if they they have the same range, right? Are they even? Do they even? So they have seven range. They're going up to nine range now. Lurkers have a further range. They have ten range with fights. And while we were praising that stasis ward earlier, still only bought him time to save his army and it did not provide him any actual trading value. A little bit unfortunate. There we go, that is coming in from the left. We have a war prism coming in here in the main base. It's gonna get shut down beautifully defended by Dark. He has enough units at his base down here to push back these zealots, but he needs to be careful. Our losses are at his front. Crusader though, he's in position. There's a couple to the last disruptor. Maybe even gets one Colossus. Ooh, that was a quick snipe on the lurker. Beautifully done by Max. Oh, that's good position. If you want to roast Hydras. So, finally we're going to see some extra AoE here from the Protoss player. Storm is about to get done. We have High Templars already with the army. And uh, I like that he's pulling back these Zealots. So he's trying to get max value. Call himself max value, not max pack. He's very well defended in all of his bases. He's going into Tempest. Oh my god, why is Art not casting this week? <laughs> it's his spirit animal, the Tempest. Okay, so we need an Oracle at least, which he does not have right now. He needs one to get the tax. And he's going three stargates then Tempest round. Poke away at Dark Sun. And that's good. Tempest do counter lurkers, of course, as they cannot shoot up and uh, can't really hold the position. You cannot really hold a position against Tempest. Lurkers are something that will hold the position. Oh my. So many lurkers. And if he if he overcommits once, he's out of the game. He doesn't have a bank, he's putting all of his monies into into the Tempest transition right now. Dark doesn't know about this. He's he's splitting off so many hydras right now because he thinks, okay, I can hold this with this only. But then the surprise comes in. Oh, this motherfucker! Tempest shows up. He's gonna do some crazy damage. As I say that though, this might just be the perfect time. As we usually say, mid transition is when you are the weakest. Man, Maxpex pushing in here with so many storms. He's actually gonna also punch out a base. I think a base first troubles. But he will most likely lose two bases to these Hydras here. Back out of all of this. Which should make it okay for Dark, right? He still has a base to transfer all of his workers to. There we go, yeah. Killed one Nexus, killed second Nexus, and killed 25 probes, something. Maybe even more here. Still working on all of this. And if he can kill the army once, then he has the game. That's his win condition now. So he has like the weaker army, maybe actually not. Maybe that's strong overall. But yeah, if he if he loses this army, it's not the biggest deal. If Max Pax loses this army one season. Max Pax needs to win that. And this is where he acknowledges going into areas. He's gonna lose a tempest here on the back of the already. He's gonna lose splitting the army like this, it's not gonna work. Like you need to you need to be careful here. Dark can snipe any high value units from you. 
for nothing or for like a simple Hydra trade, then you'll most likely die. Plus three armor. Almost done. He should chrono this out, so it, it's gonna hit with his attack. At least. And he's gonna remake a Nexus, but we're on, on 30 workers to 67. So. Don't think you're gonna come back from that economically, unless you kill at least half of your punk workers as well. Which might happen. Yeah. We have a huge army. We don't have spell casters. So this is a big thing. Oh, snipes the Templar! That was the last Templar! There's no more storm! It was the last High Templar. And there's no feedback potential now. So if Dark wants to, he can just he can just make a couple of Vipers now and there's no way for Maxplex to snipe them unless he has like he snipes them with the Tempest or with like with his army basically. He needs to directly engage those. Gonna be a recall? Maybe, yeah. Maybe try to out position. Ah oh, there we go. Get some more Templars and he acknowledges the importance of the unit. But it might just be the timing window is just closing right now. It might just be too late. There's already enough reinforcement that feels dark in play. If he can even get a decent trade, he should be able to win the game. There's so many observers, like five of these army supplies observers here for Max. Like, that's not gonna win you a game. Not gonna lose you the game either, but at least you see all the lurkers like three times, four times, five times. Yeah, Dark is just gonna gonna go for the base race now. One more observer coming in here. I'm a little bit curious. Do we have a burrow? There is no burrow. We cannot. He has to literally run away. Off center. Is it? Off center. Looks weird. And we had a recall. And I think the mothership was left behind. So it can recall here again. But if he loses this, it's not gonna be a recall and it's. Done. I think leaving that one might have been a mistake. You need to instantly recall then again. I mean, he, again, he only kills one base, right? He, he's killing this base over and over again. But Dark doesn't care. He has this one. He has this one. He's gonna make another one up here. He has enough. There's no more money here for Max Packs. Dirk is coming in here trying to finish a job. One observer coming home with some Archons to try to punch the light out of these Lurkers. But Hydras and one Lurker reinforcing this position this might not be enough for, for Max Packs. Dirk is gonna borrow. He can gauge in the bottom it seems, but I think this might just be the bigger story here. Max Packs cannot defend. Dark can put a timer on him. And Dark should be able to defend because he has all of his tech intact. He has a Nidus Worm even. I don't know what he's gonna use it for. He has it. It's gonna look scary. He's gonna run with his Lurkers, gonna go full base trade. Gonna make everything he can and put it into the into the top. Oh no no no, these guys need to move up. Go to this weird place base. One of his army units. Ah, uh, okay, this is a good move. If it's not the Nexus, there's no more recall, right? Gonna lose his tech now though. Dark needs to be a little bit careful, he can't be wasteful. He has a knight as well. Oh, that's so great. He's gonna have drones even in it. Oh, lovely. Put in drones. He still has so much eco. There's 55 drones to one worker. I don't even know where the one was. Where's the probe? Show me. Oh, okay, it's here in the natural search. Should just die to the lurkers. He still had the recall though, and now he used it. He's gonna get the army fight he was looking for, but still, I say that, and the tech is still there. Oh, actually, he's just gonna lose the army fight even. <laughs> the knight has popped, and he can evacuate so many units. Oh my god, this is so well done by Dark, man. So many units. That the knight is. The knight is so good. So good. He's even gonna catch an immortal with drones and links here. Like, plus one only. <laughs> Maybe the model is even gonna live. <laughs> That's the ugliest fight I've ever seen. Hydra comes in to trigger the shield. Even the shield gets like reset on cooldown. Have you ever seen? But yeah, the, the issue is still. Hydra tech is still there, right? There we go. So you can still make Hydras. That's all you need. Three Tempests and two carriers. You're not gonna win the game. <laughs> you only need some Hydras, man. Like 10 Hydras. Yeah, six. 
If you can get all, all of them together. Well, GG. If Max Pax wins this somehow, miraculously. He still has one probe, by the way. And he could mine. Where's the probe again? I need to. It's still just idling here. It shouldn't long distance mine here. <laughs> I mean, he cannot even reproduce interceptors. This is so insane. Insane that he's still staying in the game, kind of. Like, every interceptor counts now, because I cannot bring that first. This one. If he kills the interceptors, man. Carrier's just sitting there. Shoot at them. He doesn't know, of course. <laughs> this is so crazy. We still do have five observers. Thank god. None of them in position. Dark is just running around too much. A move. Putting down the interceptors. Once he notices, hey wait, there's no interceptors in one GG. <laughs> finally. Oh my god, finally closes the game. That was the slowest cleanup, I think. I've seen in the PvZ or ZVP. Yeah, man. Took some time, but close it out. So, do one lead, dark. Good. Except for game number one here. Right, let's hop into game number four, which is gonna be Ocean Born. Did you know that you earn bonus XP? Well, I don't know, with a friend maybe? It's gonna be a well, tough road to climb here, a tough mountain to climb for Max Pack. Bottom right, top left, this guy seems to want to finish this early. Dark. Uh, the last game was kind of crazy, a very prolonged base trade, and of course Maxpex had the strong units there, and Dark basically had the mining going on. All so he, he was trading very inf inefficient, but it didn't matter because there was no, ma no more mining going on. Even that one probe he had, he would have mined a little bit, he could have like squeezed out excuse me, an, an interceptor or two more. He didn't even check for the probe. Of course he did. I think. Yeah, there we go. That's the dark I know. That's the dark who has been playing today. That's the dark who says, I want to finish this quickly. base as well. He has grabbed his one first, so, so, so this. 21 seconds on the natural and 10 seconds on this one build time. There we go. Forces a double gate and cybernetics for wall and max packs. Not gonna pull props. This is interesting. This is a rather rare approach. Um, so he's expecting a cancel. Maybe. Maybe he thinks like, okay, two zealots are gonna be fine. This is interesting. So he, he he decides to keep on his probes mining and get extra income. Usually you can pull you pull like four probes, right? Five to four to five probes. And this time he didn't do that. I can tell it might just be enough with this one probe. I wonder though, like, if I'm dark, do I let this... Probably yes. He's gonna cancel. And he's not gonna evil. And it's just gonna die. Okay, so he wants the money back. Gets back at least some of it. I think 200. 
Under 25, maybe? And it's gonna put that into links, 10 links, and a spine crawler. He knows I forced my opponent into two gates, so I need to be defensive now. Spine crawler is the very good call here. I'm gonna keep him safe with two links, uh, two queens, and yeah, those links are trying to hide now, so he's saying, like, hey, wait, wait, what? Oh, come in. Oh, no, no. There you go. And I think if we're gonna have uh, one speed's finishing, it'd be a nice counter attack opportunity here. Just has enough, right? Very interesting. There's three adepts now. Careful. Fine, still working on those units, and now finally they have pulled out of position. But all of them went down, but one adept. Dark only lost a few links, so very well done for him. Basically, only. That's like 300. Wait, that's 150 minerals. Kills 200, 400. Minerals and 50 gas for that. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh yeah, he cancelled that. Was that's where he lost some. Minerals. That was amazing, man. So efficient. Probably like go to the German diplomacy and try to see if we can give Dark like the German. Nationality and honors or something for his efficient play. Right, Oracle. This time it's three Oracle. Uh, yeah, that's a very interesting position. Yeah? So this is covering the ramp a little bit. Also defending the mineral line quite perfectly. But it's exposing a front. And there might just be another frontal attack with another four adepts. I'm with Dark actually saw those, so he might just be a little bit under defending here right now. He's only on eight links. And as much as I was well happy with his uh, efficiency earlier now, it's gonna be a little bit tricky since he doesn't have the units in place. And yeah, if he wouldn't have moved this one. You just don't move it. This would have been in the perfect spot, actually. <laughs> Oracle's trying to get some drones here on the side. One is going into the main. It's just gonna die, actually. Wow. Wow, so far the harassment has not finding what it was looking for. Only four drones? Or four adepts and one Oracle and one's almost dead as well? I mean, look at that. Look at that trading. 750 to 1,250. Difference or resources. Lots of gas in there. Dark only lost me. Oh my god. Doesn't even get the scout on the roof. Okay, so this is gonna be a plus one melee. And what Dark likes to do is gets the... Uh, oh, claiming this. Okay, this is a little bit different then. But yeah, what he usually likes to do is he's gonna get the... A handful of roaches, make them into ravagers, and it's gonna push with ravager Ling, and I'm gonna keep fighting with those. But you can also you can you can do the same with like uh, with the baning nest of course and some pains. But then you need to have a little bit higher attack, right? He already had the has the layer, so he's gonna go with roach speed. It might just be his choice of composition, which. You... But I don't expect too many roaches, rather ravagers, with uh, no. Tech upgrades for those. Let's see. Probably gonna morph them even after the after they take some damage. First. Bane, Roach, Ravager, Ling. See how many Roaches. Sorry, how many Ravagers actually. Roaches morph too. This could be a nice poke. There's nothing ready yet here for Dark. So gonna Maybe getting the Overlord might have been a mistake there. He might not get the base this time. That was a little bit too much time. If he turns on the oracles and it just directly goes for the base, maybe he has a shot of killing that one. Specifically, like, especially with the oracles. But... Decides not to do so. I mean, it would be only a cancel and... I don't dislike getting the overlord and playing safe. But it's not as big as an edge you get. 
Lovely wall. Storm coming in. Kinda need to see some our first couple High Templar weapons soon. Stack up some energy here. Yeah? Um, Dark has been eating those for breakfast recently. Stasis war. Unit cannot attack or damage or move. But you can shift Q moves. Like you can Q the next action for them when they unfreeze. Change. Not as recent as the newest patch. I think that was two patches ago. There we go. Ling, Bane, Roach. Let's see how many Ravagers. Probably mid five. I'd warp and morphs soon. And yeah, we yeah. have like 200 supply. This is a big, big, big swell of army. And he's gonna try to fight this. But hey, who Archon's man? Actually scaring the man away. Pretty good. But those Banes didn't want to commit into this focus because there were two Archons behind this. It was very. God, that storm! And Banes! One storm. But yeah. So far, so good, I'd say. Max Pack is he's still hanging on. He's gonna lose this base, though, for sure. Nothing he can do about it. But he's not dead yet. And that was a beautiful trade there. With the with the storms on the... There were some beautiful storms. Banes. There was ten Banes. One storm. Dark was definitely not... He was completely eating that one. Not the correct choice there. Mm. It's tough. You're in red supply now. I didn't see this actually. We were supply blocked here for a moment there. So the final finished. So there were no reinforcements coming in just now. Yeah. As you can see, there's like 900 stuff in the bank. And Max Pex was just missing one round of reinforcements. Dark. GG is gonna take the game, take the series. The tournament. Well played for Dark. Thank you everyone for watching, tuning in. I hope you uh, don't forget to cut the again. Just. Good luck, you know, blah blah blah, follow it. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah.